wouldn't it be nice if we could stay up 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, and not have to fall asleep? Well, there's a reason for sleep. And it's far more than just kind of resting your brain because it's tired. You see, all day long, your brain is connecting those little connections between nerve cells called synapses. And whether we see something or feel it or hear it or experience it, it makes connections. Now, as the day goes along, we'll rethink and reuse a lot of these memories, thoughts, feelings, and connections, and others we'll just kind of ignore. Well, our brain just fills up with connections all day long. And when we go asleep, our brain literally shrinks up to 60%. And a fluid starts to wash over our very brain in and amongst all these cells, which now allow access to this. There are cells called microglia cells that move in and they like cut the synaptic connection between unused memories, thoughts, things that happen to us during the day, leaving proteins kind of floating around in our brain. Then our fluids flush all that stuff out of our mind. Our mind is, is literally cleansed during the night. Meanwhile, our brain doesn't go asleep. We have a subconscious that is strengthening and reconnecting all of those things that we were thinking about. In other words, our brain sorts the important stuff from the irrelevant stuff, clears out the connections that make us remember things. The irrelevant stuff gets washed away and our brain becomes cleansed during the evening. I mean, all of us have had this experience. We go to bed pondering something, worrying about something, not having a solution to something. And when we wake up, it's there. Our minds are clearer, they're sharper. We have answers to things we didn't have when we went to sleep. See, God works in a miraculous way in our minds to clean and refresh them. We are literally refreshed every morning because of the way God built our bodies. So here's a thought. Since things that are important are reinforced and strengthened during the night, Spend those times during the day thinking about things that are true and right and just and pure. Spend some time on God's Word and God's Scriptures right up, especially near to bedtime, and let those things be the things that are strengthened in your mind. One of the uh, instructions in the book of Proverbs says, I will set no evil thing before my eyes. Make that a goal in your life so that those things aren't strengthened and those things that honor the Lord are. And God will literally, the way he built our brains, help those things to be reinforced in our lives.